Hello everyone. We've been learning about the basic posture and technique in Kukgung. But today is the moment of truth. It's time for us to try our luck at the range, and Garrick must be very, very happy about this. So Garrick, it's time for you to show us what you've learned. How do you feel about that? You know, I feel great. I'm extremely excited. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing and practicing, and now I get to take what I've learned use it out here on the range. Good luck. You know what, though? I'm really curious about what the master's doing. So what do you think the string's for? I don't know. What do you think? Well, maybe it's so he doesn't have to retrieve the arrow. Well, there's got to be another reason. Hey, master, huh. what's this string for? 아, 이거는 주설력이라고 하는 건데 실제 활을 쏘기 전에 연습 경기로 해 보는 거예요. 주설력이 what in the world is that? Well, I think we were being too hasty. There's still several things we need to know before we start shooting. 주설력이 is the final step before we start shooting. Now, let's take a look at the master's demonstration. Now then, let's all learn about Chulsal Nagi. Chulsal Nagi is done at Sade before the actual shooting, and it is a stage that checks on final poses. The reason for tying a rope is to prevent a danger that may be caused by an accidental shooting. Now then, Let's learn about a few points to remember regarding all poses. The foot should maintain a proper stance. The torso should be straightened out and pulgarum is pulled in. The chest should be relaxed with a sense of emptiness. The face should look forward and the elbow of chumson should face down. Pull back the elbow of Kak Chi Sun strongly, and bowstring should not touch the cheek. Now then, we will first practice the actual Chul Sal Nagi. Pay attention to the following. The foot should maintain proper stance, the torso straightened out, Pull in pulgarum while the chest remains relaxed. The face should look forward. Please fit the arrow to the bow. Make sure that the elbow of the chumson faces down. Pull back the elbow of the kachisan strongly. Great, Garrick. How's practice going? Oh, it's going really good. You know, before now, I had no idea what this was. But now that I've done Jusel Megi, you know, I understand its importance and the safety that's required in doing it. And, you know, now that I've let a few fly, you know, I feel really confident that I can hit that target. Great. <laughs> I didn't know 
활벼입니다 하고 조시를 하고 네, 그 다음에 활태에서 쏠 때는 습사 무언을 하셔야 됩니다. 알겠습니까? Yeah, I understand. Thank you. Those entering the archery field should bow at Chungkang to show that they will shoot in a courteous manner. On Sa Day, one must observe the following. The eldest or the most experienced stands at the left. The shooting order are made by the order of rank. Carry five arrows each time you go up to Sa Day. Don't draw before your turn comes. Don't think bad of the winner of the competition. From the old days, kukung used to be a favorite pastime for the scholars. So there are many rules and regulations that must be followed when you're at the range. I'm sure Garrick will be more careful next time. Now before we start shooting, let's take a look at the layout of an archery range. What does the archery ground look like? It is 145 meters from Sade to the target. Ordinarily, there are three targets, but different from places. The targets are at least five meters apart. The size of the target is 246 centimeters by 320 centimeters and the red circle in the middle symbolizes the sun. Any place on the target is regarded as a bullseye. When the target is hit, signals are made by a flag. There aren't any laying apparatus used in Gukgang. Then how does one aim? Hey, Master, how do you aim this? I don't see anything to aim with. That, that doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Yeah. Raise the hand. And the way to aim at the target is fit the end of the pinky finger of Chusong to the upper right corner of the target. Depending on how skillful you are, the target can change. In Gukgung, you aim with your mind. This may be a bit vague, but if you understand that at the heart of all Korean traditional martial arts is mind control, it'll be a bit easier to understand. Well, this is all for today. Next time, we'll go out on the Sade to do some actual shooting. <laughs>